Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to Let's Play Mega Man 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we made our way through Air Man's stage and we fought off against Air Man, obviously speaking. And we got the Air Shooter. In this video, continuing on in alphabetical order, next up, according to this list, would be Bubble Man. I have an announcement at the end of the video for the amount of Mega Man games we're going to be doing. Um, I'll talk about that at the end of the video, though. So, anyway, let's get on with Bubble Man. So, it's awfully bright here, and we're introduced to a new enemy. This is, this frog thing likes to dispense frog saddles. Come on. As long as there's one frog on the screen, the next frog monster or enemy won't throw three frogs at you. Anyway, moving right along. You move down. And I seem to always get hit by that. And, yeah, there's these shell things. Kind of looks like snails, but not really. You don't really have to kill all of them if you don't want to, but... Would be nice. So anyway, coming in here, we got a dispenser here. I'm not sure what kind, what the actual name of it is. I just call it an enemy dispenser. But if you hit Santana enough times, it'll go away. Anyway, be careful in this room. I say be careful a lot, but really be careful in this room because this room is totally infested with death spikes now be careful jumping here jump down and meet another enemy dispenser Good, the good thing about these enemies is that they drop energy for you every now and again, <laughs> just like that. Anyway, moving right along. We have another frog dispenser. And I should not have killed all three of those frogs. And we'll just let them do whatever there. And one more set of enemies to take care of. And these are crabs. I'm calling them crabs. I don't think that's their actual name. But I'm calling them crabs anyway. They can be a little troublesome. But not really. And besides. Who cares anyway. We're at the boss gate. So we're going to save right here. And move on. Uh, for Bubble Man, Bubble Man ain't all that hard. Be careful when you're, uh, be careful when you're jumping in this place, cause this his boss room is infested with water, and it doesn't help. There's death spikes there, and plus his bubbles also hurt you. But overall, he's a pretty easy boss, I will admit. So yeah, we just defeated Bubble Man. And there we go, we got equipped with Bubble Lead. So, by the looks of it, the next person on our list to go in alphabetical order would be Crash Man, which is the next video. Now, I have a little bit of announcement. An announcement first before we move on. Let me mute the volume. You guys might not hear it anyway. 
Okay. You guys might not have heard of it heard it anyway. It's because of hypercam. I have an announcement. Um I did say fourteen Mega Man games before Super Mario World the Second Reality Project reloaded. However, I finally found a way to get the Nintendo Wii emulator Dolphin, the Dolphin emulation. I finally got it to work on my laptop, and I have Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10 downloaded and ready to go. It may be, there may be some major, major slowdowns, but I, I can live with that. So that means instead of 14 Mega Man games, we have 16 Mega Man games to get through. And no, I'm still not playing Mega Man X4, X5, and X6 for the PS1. Until I can find proper, like, cheat codes and whatever, just to make it easier on my part, forget it. I'm not playing it. So, instead of 14 games, we will be playing 16 games. 16 different Mega Man games. So, Mega Man 9 and 10 is a definite go. So, with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I shall see you guys next time when we go after Crash Man. So, until then, this is Gabriel John Coombs. Saying adios, amigos.